Good afternoon, students. Welcome back to our English class. So today we will go to discuss about the next topic that uh, the name is our casuarina tree, written by Torotat. Do you know what is casuarina tree? Have you ever heard about that tree? Do you know that is a big tree? Am I right? That is a big, a big tree that we have to use mostly for that is the construction field, like you know. Okay. So before I want to go to discuss about this poem, I wanted to give a brief information about the author, Torotet. She was uh, born in 1856. Okay. She was born in 1856 up to 1877. And also, she was a Bengali poet. Okay? And one more thing I wanted to tell you that uh, she was, an, a, fam she was a, a member of in the family, third one. Okay? I think this is enough about that. And also, she was dependent with nature. Okay? And then come to the poem. So, this is a... Uh, very important and then it is very useful that you know just know it in this poem she described about the tree okay and also she blessed to that tree immortalizes okay so do you know that is the what is the exact meaning for immortalizes that is nothing but there is no end likewise she compared with William Wordsworth poem Barrow Day. In that poem, uh, William Wordsworth uh, blessed the tree, yew tree. The yew tree uh, blessed by uh, that, you know, uh, William Wordsworth. Like that, she compared in this poem. Okay? So, come to the poem, you see. Uh, in the first, uh, first stanza, uh, that also here uh, that tells about that you see I just uh, here report that it's tall and strong with the creeper winding around like a python the tree looks like a uh, python the creeper like you know the tree just uh, rounding with the creeper with that then we can also see the flowers the constant flowers but it is like as a, uh, looks like as a python. I know that, you know. I hope you know that what is python. Okay, just know it. But the tree looks like as a creeper. Creeper means that's like as an, uh, uh, the root of that the stone, like, you know, that looks like as a creeper. And then we can also see that tree uh, having like as a flowers, crimson flowers. Okay. And then you see that like, uh, that looks like as a baitan. Then you come to see the next thing. When the author, um, uh, in her childhood, in her childhood, she uh, playing under the tree with her siblings. So mostly, uh, even that, uh, in that situation, she was in that, the uh, uh, abroad country, she, uh, she got a uh, nostalgic feelings that's later this poems referred here okay so for that the next uh, next uh, points i wanted to explain about this poem uh, here that the uh, poem uh, regarding about that the nature when she was a uh, young under the tree uh, she played with the with the family members like you know even the night will come the night will come, the garden surrounding with, you know, the garden surrounding with, we can also hear the beautiful song by the nightingale birds. For that I want to tell you, birds surround the garden and the sweet song. When the night will come, that time the people can hear the birds raise uh, songs like you know that is really uh, such a uh, wonderful you know uh, the people can hear the sound melody okay for that here uh, the author 
describes about the uh, bird's song. When the night will come here, the birds raise the songs. So for that, the garden surrounding with that, you know, the full of that, when the night, you know, we can also hear. I hope you know that the, about the nightingale bird, you know. When the nightingale bird uh, sing a song, we can also hear, hear that like a sana melody. Am I right? Okay, likewise that here the author referred. After that the poem that we will continue to see, when she was staying inside the, uh, that her chamber, through that you know, the peep through the window, she can also see, you know, she sees the grey monkey sitting like a statue on a top of the tree. So when she opens the open the window, she can also see through the window. There is a tree. There is a casuarina tree. There is a monkey. There is a baboon. There is a baboon sitting like as a statue. You know, but that is the monkey. There is a, the family of that monkey. They that others also they are playing. They that also playing in that the tree. That also really uh, wonderful. But that is here uh, referred by the author. It was an amazing, okay. So it was an uh, beautiful. So it was a uh, natural. So really, it was an uh, fantastic like that. You see, referred here, okay. And then she can also watching through that her window. She can also able to see there is a. The cows grazing and the water lilies springing in the pond. There is, near is the tree, near is the tree, there is a pond, you know. There is the pond, in the pond there is, there is a lilies. You know, that is a reflect of that, you know, that also she can also watch. That also she referred in this poem, okay. So it is really amazing, it is really beautiful. Like that you see. Then she can also be able to say that she strongly believes that nature communicates with the human beings. Okay? She strongly believes that, you know, that the nature communicates with, you know, the nature when her childhood. She understood about this, you know, the nature communicates with the human beings. That like also she got an uh, uh, nostalgia feelings. So after that you see, uh, she immortalize. So it is uh, very important in this poem. Immortalize. Immortalizes the tree through her poem like the poet. The, the, the nature poet William Wordsworth. Uh, in, in his poem, that Barrowdale, that verse, he referred the yew tree. You know, that is the yew tree, that is the yew tree, yew tree, he referred and also she blessed, like as a immortalizes. It's an immortalizes the tree, who, that is William Wordsworth, in the poem Barodite. Likewise, a Torotet also blessed that, you know, it's like as an immortalizes, it's a immortalizes tree, like that is she blessed. Okay, so this is a uh, this is mostly different with uh, uh, the nature like that you know when she was a young that means uh, when she was a childhood that time she uh, had an experience that is her uh, past nostalgia uh, nostalgia feelings like that she referred in this poem. So after that she can also express in this poem, right, you know, she expresses her wish that the tree. So actually just now I told you that she blessed in this tree like as a immortalizes, okay, like which she compared with the Wordsworth uh, poem. Like that uh, she referred here, it is like as an uh, immortalizes, immortalizes that, you know, after that she, she should be uh, remembered out of the love and it cannot be forgotten. So it cannot forgotten that you know in, in her life after uh, after her life over 
she said that you know there is no end for this casuarine artery for that i bless like that she referred in this poem once again i want to give one expressions regarding about this poem when the poem it begins with that you know it looks like as a creeper like as a python after that it tells about that you know depend with the nature and then there is a there is a garden the garden uh, full of spread with the nightingale birds uh, song that's later after that she when she was stayed in her uh, in her house and then she peep through the window she can also watching there is a baboon playing uh, with the tree and then under the air there is a, a cows uh, grazing that rounding that places like that after that the nature communicate with the uh, with the um, man like that you know just know it anyhow that in this poem she bless there is no end that is a word here she referred immortalizes like way she compared with the, uh, the nature poet william wordsworth and william wordsworth also uh, he referred in his poem that barodel okay so it is a nature it is really uh, fantastic and also it is a nostalgia uh, nostalgia uh, that uh, the feelings of Uh, in her past uh, reminiscence that also she referred in his uh, in her poem in her poem okay that's all about this poem thank you